Hey, this is Silicus, and today I'm going to be unboxing for you the Corsair Link. I just got this in the mail. Uh, what this is is one of Corsair's new product lines that uh, will help you control your computer um, innards, such as your lighting and your cooling and your fans and everything else from inside your operating system. So it's pretty cool. It's a little box. This is the Corsair Link kit that comes with both the fan control, thermal sensors, and the light kit. So that's where you're seeing the glow come from over here. So anyway, we're going to open this thing up, show you what it looks like inside the operating system, and uh, what it's doing inside this computer. So, first thing you'll see, obviously it's in a brown box, it comes in a pretty plain packaging. Inside it has the actual command unit itself, the fan controller, as well as the light controller, and a bunch of different cables, thermal sensors, fan uh, extensions, light extensions, as well as three LEDs that come uh, like this. I'll get you a little closer view here in a moment. And uh, it's pretty simple, easy to open up, lots of little bags and lots of cables, so don't lose any of them. Uh, from what I gather, you'll be able to purchase additional lights and extensions and fan cables and everything else that you need from Corsair eventually. Uh, at this time, you can only buy the kit and go from there. So let's uh, turn this thing around so you can uh, get an idea. Okay, so for lighting, they give you three strips of LEDs with three LEDs on them. Uh, at this particular moment, I have them cycling through uh, like a purple and a pink and a blue. Um, that's pretty cool. They are pretty standard as far as uh, strip LEDs. But uh, what I noticed from like such as like the OLS, the arrangement of uh, red, blue, green is different on these strips. So you can't just plug in. Uh, your standard one. However, you may be able to rewire it uh, to do that, but that seems to be a lot of work. I think you can also add additional channels to uh, this unit as well if you uh, purchase additional light units. So, pretty cool, very bright, allows you to change uh, a lot of the colors. I'm going to leave this thing hanging out over here so you can see kind of what it looks like when it hits your white cables. It's a pretty cool kind of glow, and you can change these obviously to just about whatever color you can possibly imagine. Anyway, so this is a computer that has not been cable managed yet from the back end anyway. So what I'm going to do though is show you the Corsair Link and how it connects everything in the front back here so that way you can control this without ever having to go inside here or even use the uh, fan controller or if you even bought an additional one. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the uh, master or the command unit itself. It has uh, a cable that goes right here. This plugs in to your uh, USB header. There's no additional power being run to this unit itself. It simply runs into a USB 2.0 header on your board. Generally they're on the bottom of the board and that's where you're going to put it. Okay, so let's show what the different cables are. First you have your standard uh, connection cable. This goes into the unit itself. From what I gather across the series, that this little cable will actually be uh, once again the standard for the rest of the units that are going to be shipping with this. So what do the other units look like? Well, here's the first one. This one right here is the Corsair fan controller and thermal station. It tells you a little bit about it. It says these are the sensors right here. These are your fans. This connects it to the link. So for everything that plugs into the link you have to have this little command cable. So let's find one real quick and let's plug it in. If you look on the actual unit itself, it has a little uh, clasp right here, so don't rip it out, whatever you do. You'll plug it in right like this, it'll click into place, and then from here, you'll plug it into the actual unit. Mine's upside down, but that's because I wanted to have it, uh, the Corsair logo facing upright in the front. Now that's connected, here are your thermal sensors. The only complaint I really have about the thermal sensors is that they're really short, so getting it anywhere useful can be kind of a chore. So uh, expect to either want to lengthen the cables or make sure you mount this somewhere uh, where it can easily reach everywhere it needs to go. It has uh, lots of fan ports on it. it, has five here and four sensors. You'll probably, if you have tons and tons of fans, you may want to do some Y splitters or perhaps get another one of these units itself. The uh, Corsair Command Center can actually uh, hold a whole lot more than what's even provided in the first kit. The next thing is the light kit itself. Uh, the light kit's a little bit smaller, as you can see here. 
It has a, so you, even if it's not connected to the computer itself, uh, as far as USB wise, you can still control the lights with the buttons here, but I assume you're going to connect to your USB on your actual board, so you'll be good to go from there. Now, both these units have extra power that has to be provided, so make sure you plug them in, elsewise they will not work. So apply that. On the actual unit itself, you have the command line, you take the command cable, you plug it in, and then you attach the cables and you plug it in, makes a little click noise, and then you have power. The LEDs look like so. They have three RGB LEDs themselves. As you can see that uh, they're in a line here. You have three on each cable. I have no idea what the price will be uh, for each one of these. I assume they'll be probably sold in sets of three. The nice thing is, is that you can have more than one of these on the command unit and you can have two on each of these units. So, And then you can have I think up to 33 strands on each one of the, uh, each one of the lines. Each of these can be set inside the Corsair Link software to alternate colors from one to either being stagnant to four to pulsing one color, all sorts of different things, but I'll show you that here in a moment. So all in all, pretty straightforward. Just uh, plug it in, mount it somewhere, route your cables to it. It comes with lots of different additions to adding extra length, such as uh, extra distance for your fan cables, as well as for your lights, so that way if you need to reach a different spot, they give you uh, quite a few cables to do that. You may need to buy some extras for fans if you would like to have an extreme distance or have a very large case. But elsewise, they give you lots of varying lengths. Anyway, once again, this is Silicus, and this was my unboxing and installation of the Corsair Link. If you got any questions, put them down below. If you like our videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to get more of these. And next up will be the software, so you can see what it looks like inside of the operating system. Probably be a day or so, but then I'll have it up and uh, you can check it out. Anyway, till next time.